What's up you guys? I'm back again with the What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I'm back again with another video and this time we are going to be talking about my favorite songs in 2020. So let's go right ahead and get into this video. Now, if you guys want to, you can comment down below your favorite 20 songs or 10 or 15, however many you wanna do, down in the comment section and let me know. So we're about to start it, but make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. You already know what to do. Click the bell to be notified. So we're about to go ahead and get into this list. Now, it's not um, in order of best or worst or most favorite or anything. I'm just going off of the top of my head. Or, well, I did create a list. I'm sorry, not the top of my head. I created a list of songs and I just wrote down whatever came to mind. So yeah, we're about to get into that. So the songs are going to be listed here. And um, as I'm uh, saying the songs, I'm actually going to put a picture of the single cover right here. So the first song is Sada Baby, Future, and Nicki Minaj whole lot of choppers remix you guys let me tell you i did not know i i was in shock to know that nikki was remixing uh this song because nikki me being a huge fan of nikki and being a fan of her for years um i didn't expect it i felt like yeah maybe she would have put out a little freestyle you know she would do her little freestyles here and there i didn't expect for her to get on a song like that you know and it was perfect it was perfect i didn't think like when I hear the song, I didn't think like, oh yeah, Nicki gotta be on this, you know? So when it did come out, I was shocked. I was like, what? Like, wait, what's going on? Like, Nicki know who Sada Baby is? Like, wait, what? Whole lot of Choppers is a very huge uh, song on TikTok. And a lot of songs were very popular during quarantine. And that was one of the songs that was very popular. So it has a cool little dance to it that people do. I haven't been on TikTok in a while, so I'm not for sure if it's still like a popular song on there, but at the time it was very popular. And then Nicki hopped on it and it charted on Billboard. I don't remember where it debuted it. I'll probably put it up here somewhere. So I was just like, what, what? I was in shock. So that was one of my favorite songs. I feel like it was very cute, very witty. She was nine months pregnant while recording that song. And she had so much breath control. Like it was just amazing, just great to hear. So the next song is also like a, a TikTok record. I heard it on TikTok and fell in love with it. Internet Money, Lemonade. I Let me tell y'all something. I know the lyrics are like a bit crazy, <laughs> talking about, you know, drugs and everything, but I love that song. I just feel like the vibe of it and the flow and the way the beat just comes in and the way like I don't know the person's name who's like singing throughout the song, but he really did a good job. And it just like, I didn't even care about the lyrics in that moment. I was just, vibe, I was, you know, I just vibe out with the song. So one day I, I literally heard, just sat there and listened to the lyrics and I was like, okay, I can't relate, but, <laughs> but I do like the song. I like the music and it's one of my favorite songs right now. Every time it plays on the radio, I turn it up and I play a lot. I love that song a lot. Very vibey. Um, you could just sit back and chill and listen to it. So it's a really cool song. I really love that song a lot. It's so dope and amazing. Like, it's just one of my favorites. So, yeah. So the next song we have is Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion, WAP. So I know a lot of people didn't really care for WAP when it uh, came out. I just love the fact that both of them work together because they're very similar with the things that they talk about. And it just only made sense that them two came together. You know, I know people feel the way they feel about it, but I just felt like it made sense business wise. It was really, really cool. Um, the song is fun. I love me a good whole anthem. Not calling them hoes, but the song was very hoish and I love it. I love me a good whole song. I, I vibe to it a lot. <laughs> I love it. Okay. It's everything to me. So the song was really great. The video was dope and amazing. I, I miss the times where people really put their money into their visuals and visuals was really appreciated it have some people who would in music videos in a way that it used to be like in the 90s or the early 2000s so i love that they kind of gave us that instead of just giving us a green screen i love the fact that they gave us something 
playful, something fun, and something different. So I shout out to the girl. They did their thing. So the next song we have is Savage Remix, Megan Thee Stallion, Future, and Beyonce. Now I do love the original version a lot. I do. Um, but the remix just have so much more energy, so much more playfulness, so much, just so much fun. So I love the the remix a lot. Beyonce did her thing. Um, she gave us what we needed. <laughs> like she gave us what we needed. Her and Beyonce kind of went back and forth. I wish we could have got a video for this song. I wish we could get a performance of the song, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, who knows? Look how long it took for Feeling Myself to come out. The video for Feeling Myself. Like, the album was out for a whole year, I believe. And then the video came out like a year after or a few months afterwards. So, eh... I mean, you never know. You never know. So my next favorite is Say Something Remix, Future and the City Girls and the Baby. I love the original version of that song too, but I, it's just something about JT verse that really fits on that on that song. Period. Like the way she comes in and the way she just flow. Like I, I, I really like that beat. Really fits JT voice. Like it's a lot of songs that they do where it's like, okay, JT sound good on this. Carisha sound okay. Carisha sound good on this. JT sound okay. So a lot of times you you have those moments where either one of the girls they sound better than the other or equally as good or equally as bad. But them my girls, okay, you know, I'm from Miami, so I'ma ride for my hometown. Regardless of what y'all say or what y'all think, okay, I'ma always ride with home. And that's just that on that. But yeah, I love the remix. I think the remix is really, really dope. That is it's it just like when the songs start like even when I'm in the car and I'm listening to the radio, the song will come on the radio and I'll be like, I'm, I'm getting ready to say the J, say JT verse and then next, well, JT's verse, I'm sorry. And I don't hear it. And I'll be like, oh my God. So they don't really play the remix on the radio like that here. But so the next song we got is Hit Different by SZA. Oh my gosh. Well, I might as well just put both, but Hit Different is one of my favorite songs in 2020. Let me tell you something. We waited for so long to get a song from SZA, like, shout out to the girl on TikTok. I don't remember her name, um, but she actually did videos on TikTok about Bryson Tiller and SZA not putting out any music. And um, she kind of shook up the internet with those videos and we kind of got them to put out, you know, she kind of got them to put out some music, even though she, if she don't want to claim that, we all believe it was her, the reason why we got music. When I heard Hit Different, at first, the, at the first listen, I didn't understand what I was listening to. Um, I didn't know what the hell SZA was saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I didn't know what she was talking about. I was like, what the hell is she talking about? Like, what is SZA saying? Like, what? I need some lyrics here. Like, what's going on? And the lyrics wasn't on, um, because Apple Music have this thing now where you can look up the lyrics, and it wasn't on there yet. I'm like, I like this song. I'm, I'm, I'm vibing to it, but what the hell is she saying? After reading the lyrics and listening to a few covers and then listening to her acoustic version, I said, okay, I know what she's saying now. I got it. I, I can sing it in the car and don't mess up no words. So the next song we got is Good Days. She finally put Good Days out and I was so happy. I was so happy because at the end of the song, at the end of Hit Different on the video, she gave us good days. And I was like, I want this song. I want the whole version. It has to be a whole version. I know it's a whole version somewhere. She needs to give it. And she did. <laughs> she did. But the only thing I did notice was the beat was a little bit different, but it still hit. And I love that. I love that song so much good days is so relatable it's literally relatable and I, and I just love the vibe of that song i just love the feel of it i'm excited for this new album i don't know when we're going to get it but hopefully soon so um hit different and good days are really doing good right now uh especially good days is doing really good on billboard right now so my girl did it i was so happy when we got the song i was like finally <laughs> finally so the next song we got is N nikki nodge yikes okay she kind of to me she opened up the year with yikes um she recorded a video of her in the studio with her husband and her engineer and she was sitting there just like vibing out dancing and singing a song and we was like okay when is this coming out what is this what's the name of it when is it coming out oh my gosh we're getting the album and we kind of pushed it a little too far by saying we was getting the album because we really did it but we got the song and 
I loved it. To me, it was too short. I was like, I want it to be longer, but I still love the song. I still, I have the shirt in there um, in my closet right now that what she was selling the merch. And when we got it, when we got the song, I couldn't stop playing it because it gave me that vibe of Nicki, like in her mixtape days. Like I felt like she was talking very gritty. Like she talked like that throughout her albums and certain songs and stuff. So I don't really like to, I'm not one of those type of people who like to always say, Oh, Nick, mixtape Nikki bag, mixtape Nikki. Like she's always been there, and, you know. But the fact that she's creative enough to switch it and you know go back and forth with her sounds and and different things like that, it's always been there and it's always going to be there. So yeah, Yikes is my favorite. And she was pregnant when she recorded that song and when she put it out, and we had no idea. <laughs> But she was right. All right, so the next song is Ariana Grande, Nasty. <sighs> Let me tell you something. Positions is not my favorite Ariana Grande album, but it's something about that. That song, Nasty, is just, oh my gosh, like... <laughs> Woo! I love it. Um, I was in the, what happened, how I ended up, cause I didn't listen to the album at first before I heard Nasty. I was in the gym and I was working out and Apple Music have this thing now where it kind of, once it finishes an album or like if you click a particular song, once it finishes, it will shuffle and kind of do like this loop type thing. And it would go and randomly select songs that actually fit what you were listening to. I was just sitting there like just working out it, exercising and stuff like that. And then Nasty came on and I was like, like, who is this at first and i was like this ariana so i was looking at it and then i was getting ready to change the song because i'm like no i haven't heard the album yet as soon as i took my phone out of my pocket and was getting ready to change the song it started and i was like wait a minute hold on i was like uh wait and i started just vibing out to the song and i was like whoa like ariana ain't have to slay like that like she didn't have to do that you know what i'm saying like she really did not have to do that <laughs> So that's what caused me to listen to the album. I like a few of the songs. I might do a review on the album. I don't know. I'm gonna see if y'all comment below if you want that. But if so, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to re-listen to the album again to kind of refresh my brain and, and everything and do it. So we can't do a reaction video to the album. So do not ask me to do that. We can't do that at all. Republic Records do not play about their, their artists. I don't listen. I don't fool with that. Okay, because I got so many strikes. No. And the next song is Positions. Now, I did love Positions. Positions was good. Um, it, it really was. This album Ariana has done is very mature. You know, she's saying things that she didn't say in the other albums. She talking the way she didn't talk in the other albums. And I was like, mamas have grown. She has grown up on us quick. So I love that song. Uh, Positions and Nasty are elite, okay? So I did get the vinyl. I'm not telling y'all which one I got because when they get here, you're going to see which one it is. And I'm not telling you. If you know me, I'm sure you're going to know which one I got anyway. So, but especially if y'all been watching me, you already know how I do it. But I'm not even going to say nothing. Y'all going to see when they get here, period. Okay. So the next song is Chloe and Holly, um, Forgive Me. That's my favorite song on the album. I was so happy that they gave us a video for it. So happy that when they perform it, they give so much energy, which they always do, but they like, they really go hard. So I love that song. I just love how it's just, with the kids are all right, that album was very light. It was very light, you know what I'm saying? But they re went really kind of dark with this album, like even with the visuals. So I Forgive Me is just like calling out this huge, liar like i love that song so much the energy and the vibe i feel like i feel like a badass when i'm listening to that song you know it, it just gives me that feel i have so much fire in me when i listen to it i'm just like oh i love that song i love the whole album i'm not gonna lie but forgive me and busy boy they deserve so much that those two songs deserve a lot okay I'm just saying. So hopefully they give us a video to Busy Boy and hopefully they give us a vinyl. Like I'm, I'm going to keep stressing that. Like y'all need to give us, give us a vinyl to this um, album because I have no problem with creating my own. Like I definitely will create my own and go from there, but I want to buy it from y'all. Like, come on, give us some color. Give us some picture this and all type of stuff. Like I'm with it. Like, come on, please. So the next song we have is K-Camp uh, featuring Jacquees. What's on your mind? 
when I first heard that song, I believe I heard it on TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. And I fell in love with it. I was like, what's the name of this song? Like, what's... No, 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 no. I was watching someone's um, someone's Instagram live, and it was playing the song. And I was trying to figure out who sing. I was like, who is this? So I'm not the type of person that asks people. Y'all could ask me all day. But I'm not the type of person that asks people, like, what's the name of this or what's the name of that? I kind of go and, and look it up for myself and type in the lyrics, and then that's how I find it. So, yeah, that was my, my favorite song song of 2020 i love that song i do so yeah all right so the next song we have is lady gaga featuring ariana grande rain on me let me tell you something i was singing that song and did not know the meaning of <laughs> what was going on i was even singing the wrong lyrics i was saying i'd rather be drunk when really it was saying i'd rather be dry but i love that song so the song is basically about um gaga kind of going through her alcoholism stages and everything and, and drinking to cope with a lot of things um i didn't know that i was singing a song and dancing to it like it's a party record and everything not knowing it's a deep rooted type of song that's speaking on her personal issues and what she you know has to endure so i was like when i found out i was like oh now i feel bad for like really singing and vibing out to the song but i mean it does give you the feel of a party type record and it is but the meaning of the song is totally different so i was just like now that i know it was very real i feel so bad <laughs> <laughs> but I still love the song and I feel like her it was about time her and Ariana Grande did a song together I don't feel like nobody else could have did that song with Gaga it wouldn't have been as good as it as it is so that's one of my favorites it really geared me to want to listen to the album so when it finally came out I listened to it and it's a great body of work like to me my favorite albums from Gaga would definitely have to be Born This Way and Chromatica like I know a lot of people gonna be like what what huh D don't debate me on this Okay, those are her two best albums in my opinion. That's just that. I said it. <laughs> so the next song we got is 6 9 6 9 and Nicki with Trolls. I did, I liked the song. I did like the song. I love the video even more. Um, it was very, to me, it was a very creative video because they had little to, they, they really couldn't do much because it was like freshly the quarantine and all this stuff was going on with Corona. So they made it work. The video came out great. The song came out great. And I enjoyed it a lot. So that was my favorite. I love the fact that Nicki kind of went off on everybody that tried her in 2020 in 2019 like she went off <laughs> she shaded everybody so yeah that's my favorite i love that song i do i still play it to this day i even like six nine hollering and screaming like it was good it was good to me the next song we got is the baby rockstar so rockstar is a i really like that song it's it's really different i love when artists do things differently than what they normally do and it works and he did something really different with that song and it just worked out so him and roddy rich really did a good job on that song um they put it out during the time of everything that was going on in the world with the whole um george floyd and everything crazy time but the song really was great and i love the fact that him and roddy team up together to do a song like that because you know normally when we hear the baby the baby is you know talking about sex and, and different things like that but when he did this song it was really different and he was talking about something that was actually going on in the world that a lot of people was affected by so we had a song that we could sing while we was dealing with what we was dealing with and the song was great and I, and I love the fact that they teamed up together and really worked together and, and gave us this project and we got something different from the both of them so it was really they made me proud with that song I, I i could say that it really made me proud and it deserved to be number one and it, it went number one for a while it went down and then it went back up to number one so it, it really did it got what it deserved it really did it really did so the next song we're gonna go with is dua lipa dua lipa levitating um i love the original version and i love the version with the baby that song let me tell you something that whole album and i y'all don't judge me um i listened to the album in its entirety for the first time last week and i fell in love with the album i couldn't believe what i was hearing i'm not a really huge fan of pop music like that because you know kind of like the recent stuff like the recent pop music haven't really been hitting to me but like the 2010s and 2011 and 2012 was like a great year for the whole pop genre but when it got to 2013 and 14 and everything 
else pop music kind of went down and it wasn't really fun anymore um but it was a really fun time in in, in that little three year span of pop music so the recent stuff haven't really been hitting to me but when it come to Dua Lipa that girl put her entire foot into future nostalgia like her entire everything and i was just like when i heard it it was like every song was i was moving and i was grooving to it and i, I really love that album a lot so i'm going to do a, a album review on that i'm gonna do a video of me reviewing the album and talking about it and breaking down the songs and everything so y'all be getting that soon but i love love that song a lot levitating is just it's just great i'm not even going to go into depth because i am doing a video about me talking about the album so next is the say so remix i love like the original song i didn't know what the hell she was talking about at first but after a while i was like okay now i know what she's talking about and i like it so it was very when the video came out i watched the video i loved the video i loved the song everything was just great i didn't know nikki was going to hop on a remix i knew i always wanted her and doja to work together but i didn't know say so is what we was going to get and i didn't know that's what we needed but we did i love nikki verse the alternative version and the the actual the the I think you would call it the original version, I guess. Those two versions, because it's like two or three different versions, I believe. And they were great. Amazing. Awesome. Um, nobody else could have did that remix. It had to be Nicki. And it went number one. And I was so proud of them. That was Nicki's uh, first number one. So I was so proud of Nicki in that moment. And Doja Cat. Even more of Doja Cat. Because it's what they both deserved and what they needed. And I feel like Nicki been grinding for years. So she deserved for years. So she deserved that number one. And Doja have been grinding and she's like, I don't like to compare female rappers together, so I'm not going to do that. But I feel like she's very diverse in the way that Nicki is and very versatile. So I, I, I love that about the both of them. So they both deserve that number one. Hopefully they both do another song again and it go number one and it do even better. So because after Say So Remix came out, you know, some controversy with Doja Cat. So hopefully with the next song, it could be as good and chart is high and no controversy <laughs> and it could stay up longer if you know what i mean so say so remix next song is dynamite by bts what like when i first heard that song i believe i have a reaction video to it as well to the video so y'all can check that out but <sighs> I love that song. I love that song a lot. Um, when I, f I was so mad, I didn't get the get the vinyl for Dynamite. I didn't get to get the vinyl for Dynamite, but I love that song a lot. It was very fun, very summery, very, uh, a really feel good song. And the video is even better. So I love that song. So the next song we have is What's Poppin' from Jack Harlow. Uh, that, I didn't even know who was rapping i didn't i wasn't familiar with that person at all they was playing it on the radio a lot they still played on the radio a lot and i was hearing it and i was like who is this so i started googling the lyrics and, and stuff like that and um i saw it was jack harlow and i was like okay i didn't expect the person who was actually rapping this song to look like that like <laughs> i had no idea i was looking like oh my gosh like i thought when i listened to the song i had a vision in my head but it wasn't what i thought if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. So I was like, but I love this song. It's just, he, the way he's flowing and rapping, it just works. I was like, whoa, okay. So the next song we have is DJ Khaled featuring Drake with Popstar. That song, when DJ Khaled and Drake come together, it's always banger and it's always a hit and it's just, it never misses to me. When that song came out, I didn't listen to it at first because I wasn't feeling Drake in that moment. You know what I'm saying? Him and Nicki was going through what they was going through. And I wasn't feeling Drake, you know, in that moment. I was just like, nah, I'm good off him. I eventually went and listened to the song and fell in love with it. I was like, oh yeah, this is this is a good song. When they come together, it's always good. It's always fun, um, never lackluster. So the next song we have is from a, I would say is a new artist. Um, a lot of people may not be too familiar with him, but a lot of people are playing his music today, particularly this song, um, Mooski with Trackstar. That, let me tell you something. When I first heard that song, I was watching a YouTube video, uh, my favorite YouTubers. I think it was YouTube or Instagram. It could have been 
open Instagram, the live. Uh, my favorite YouTubers, which is uh, Us Outsiders, they were listening to the song. I think Red was listening to the song in the background or something like that. And people kept asking her like, what's the name of this song? Like, what's the name of it? Who is this? She said it and I went and hurry up and got off her live and started Googling it to find a song. And when I found it, I added it to my playlist on uh, Apple Music and went back to the live and finished it. But after the live finished, I listened to the song and I fell in love with it. So um, I'm not too familiar with Mooski. I don't know where he's from. I don't know anything about him. I just know this song and I hear it all the time. Like I live in Miami. So you hear this song all the time, like all the time. <laughs> like we probably going to hear somebody ride by playing that song while I'm recording this video like that's just how much it plays a lot and I listen to it a lot as well so shout out to Mooski I don't know much about him I'm not too familiar with him he's in like I said a new artist so you're not really probably you're probably not going to really find a lot of stuff about him but yeah I love that song track star is great it's him talking about a girl and, and stuff like that men don't be vulnerable in their music anymore so when a guy is vulnerable in their songs like i have to appreciate it i grew up at a time when men were vulnerable in their music and they were able to express their love and their their affection and stuff through their music and it's like you don't really get that so yeah i, I love discovering new music um i was happy when i discovered that song because it's one of my favorites right now i love it <laughs> so that was the end of my top 20 favorites of 2020 um I, at first i was going to break them down into genres but i was like no i'm just going to go ahead and get my overall favorites so i hope you guys enjoy this video those are my 20 favorite songs there especially Mooski because he's a new artist that song is a really good song you guys will love it okay if you have the same taste in music as me you will love it so yeah these are all the names my top 20 favorites uh uh, you guys comment below and let me know what's your top 20 favorites. I will see you guys in the next one If you guys want another video like this, it definitely will happen This could probably be like a yearly thing that I do. Um, well, it will have to be a yearly thing <laughs> It will have to be but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace Mwah.